Hi. This is a new video at the Mobile Services Center channel on YouTube. Today, we'll guide you through transferring ownership of a line using the My Verizon app. First, open the menu, select Account, and sign in if you haven't already. Next, go to Account Settings from the top menu and select Controls. Then, tap Transfer Your Service to continue. There's no charge for switching between two devices on the same account. However, if your existing data plan isn't compatible with the type of phone you're trying to activate, you might need to purchase additional data for it. To separate your line and phone, you will need the account owner's permission. This includes transferring the device payment agreement from the existing account. If you're willing to give up your phone number and device, you can start your own account with a new number. It might be a good idea to get a new phone as well. Make sure Backup My Data is enabled. For app syncing, go to Settings, then Data Usage, tap on the three-dot menu at the top right of the screen, and ensure Auto Sync Data is turned on. Once you have a backup, select it on your new phone, and you'll be offered a list of all the apps on your old phone. Please note that Verizon Wireless now charges a $30 upgrade fee when customers switch to a new phone, up from the previous fee of $20. This fee must be paid if you purchase the new device at retail price or through Verizon's device payment program. And now it is the end of our episode today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Mobile Service Center, and press like if you really like the video. See you in the next video.